Here's another example involving an extremely fast object. In 1990, the SR-71 Blackbird aircraft. This is a kind of famous aircraft. It was built uh, 30 or so years ago, and it was originally intended to be a fighter plane. Here I have uh, some pictures. Here's a spectacular shot. You can see why it's called the Blackbird, because it was all painted black. This, the, the black paint was actually radar absorbing. And the shape of the plane also, this was some of the early versions of the stealth technology. It was designed to not be very detectable or not be easily detectable on radar. So you have this interesting slope of the, the, the tail fins, for example, and the, um, the cross section is it's, uh, a, a different shape there than most planes and the paint is radar absorbing rather than radar reflecting but um, this plane was was not real effective as a fighter plane it turned out to be a little bit too clumsy but it was really really fast because it had these huge engines and so they decided to use it as a spy plane and it would just fly really high they put some some really high-tech cameras on it so it could fly over enemy territory and take pictures a reconnaissance aircraft and it was just so fast and it could fly so high and so fast that if it was detected by the time the enemy responded and launched another airplane to try to shoot it down or even launched a missile to try to shoot it down by the time they reacted the plane was just gone it was so fast here's another picture a slightly slightly different view and um and then one more picture to give you a sense of scale it's not a terribly huge plane you can see some people over here this is in a museum obviously so it's um as far as planes go, it's not gigantic, but the engines are huge for a plane that size, which is obviously one of the things that made it so fast. But here's the problem. In 1990, and this is when they retired the plane, um, they're no longer in service. The, uh, the same type of work is done by satellites now. They, can, they have cameras that are so good that they can get these amazingly clear images from up in orbit, from even higher. So they, they don't need these anymore. But in 1990, on, on its final flight, and they had several of these, but one particular plane went coast to coast. It went from California to Vir Virginia in 1.138 hours, and this was a record, a coast to coast record. The flight distance was 2,417 miles, and it did it in this amount of time, 1.138 hours and we want to find the average speed. So we just use our formula, average speed is distance divided by the time. And the distance is given 2,417 miles divided by the time, which is 1.138 hours. And we pull out our calculator and divide that. 2,124 miles per hour which is pretty fast now just take note that that is the average speed it started off and ended at a speed of zero so its top speed had to be higher than that and the top speed I, I think is still classified it's not actually known they don't they don't release that information to the public because that's a uh, strategic military information they don't want our enemies to know how fast our spy planes can go. Even though it's been retired, they still keep a lot of that information secret. But one thing we do know is that if the average speed was 2,124, that the top speed of the plane was even higher. It's a very, very fast aircraft.